This is the second video. I made another video before this, and I don't know if I can get it to flip, so I'm going to have to start again. Um, we've talked about Jim McKenzie, and he is the artist of the month that we have been talking about with texture, and we've already done lines and color and shape and form and space. And like I said, texture is the next element. Uh, this is a sheet that I've made on a Google Doc, and in the first video, uh, I talked about how when you're in fifth grade next year, this is a great example of having a grid to where you can look at symmetry. And symmetry is where the left side looks like the right side, basically your face if you were to draw, um, to put a line in the middle of it. For the most part, you look the same on the left as you do on the right. You might have a mole on one side, a freckle on the other. Sometimes people have different color eyes. But for the most part, your eyes are in the same spot. Um, and everything is, is an image. Now I said I made this on a Google Doc and when I was drawing with this one I noticed that, um, this is one that I did with you on the first video, uh, if you look at it these two are similar, okay, meaning you could just open them up like a butterfly and this side looks the same. When I was looking at this line, if you come down in the middle of this line, here is the midpoint when I made this, like I said, I added these lines to it. If you put your pencil here and you use a parallel line, the eye, the bottom of the point, should actually be here. And if you look at where the lines intersect on here, they're not exactly accurate. So you're going to do your best, get it as similar as you can. Like I said, this is just a practice. And you're just going to use a basic pencil today. Uh, make sure you have your name on this. We are just practicing this. And then you will get to choose whatever animal you want. You'll cut this out, glue it to a uh, thicker piece of paper, and then you will do the symmetry, the drawing of the rest of it. And you can also add a background. Maybe you want your animal in the forest. Uh, you know, maybe it's a sea animal and you have, uh, you know, seaweed and stuff like that. You get to choose that. And for the project, I have drawing pencils. You can use gray or black color pencils, but we've also talked about light, light till you get it right. Because, and also you can use an eraser uh, for part of your shading. And shading is what really makes it have the 3D, the three dimensional effect. And I'm gonna go back to this one. Like I said, since I had to redo the video, this is not meant to be overwhelming. This is meant to really teach you to use your artist eye as an artist. Um, you are in fourth grade and we are gonna be doing portraits this year, but I want you to think about this image should be the same. So just start with one triangle. That's why I like to do it this way. And then it's not overwhelming. And you know the shape of a uh, animal's nose is basically a triangle and it's a soft triangle. Meaning instead of a hard line, and see how light that pencil is? I'm trying to do it a little darker so you can see with the video. But really start in light. Then we have a curved line. Take your finger on the other side of that picture so you really, it's kind of guiding, guiding your eye, guiding your pencil. Then you would come back in and see how dark this is there. You, um, you will go from dark to light and then you can use different, you can use cross hatching. There's also, it's dark there. And then maybe to make it look like the texture of the nose, just tiny little dash lines. <laughs> um, another thing, I was just sitting there thinking, I like the other nose better that I drew. Um, you can always get a scrap little piece of paper. When you're doing your project, this whole thing is just practice. You don't need to get a scrap piece of paper for this, but you're just experimenting, you're trying, you've probably never done this before. So this nose I like better on the right because I had the lines going this direction, it kind of looked more similar. Now if you come in and you look at the nose right there, it is dark up above, and then I would have more textured lines, okay, and just start adding in your texture to make it look more like an animal because they have the fur. And if you look at this picture, I, like I said, I got this image from the internet and then I made it in a Google Drawings and I added this grid on. So the grid is not necessarily perfect. Right here it's really light, so I wouldn't add any shading. And you see your lines, like I said, take your finger. 
the lines on this is kind of on the animals first kind of going in this direction then I'm going to have you can have long you can have um, short lines you can have longer lines you know look at the picture look at the image see how it's um, coming fanning out and then as it comes out towards this direction you don't see as much the fur is actually there but it's white so you cannot draw white I know the poor white color pencil doesn't get used very often we talked about that and then over here you're gonna start seeing more of the texture so for me maybe I'll just have a few little lines in there you can always add more now right up here against this nose what do I notice on this other side it's really dark so I'm gonna start coming in putting a little bit more pressure but you also want to have a contrast contrast is where something stands out so um, this is for talking about and now I don't that's too dark so I'm gonna go back in and erase it pencil can get a little um, smeary so you have to be careful I like that better it still has a contrast not as much and then you're going to come up and you're going to do the eye or maybe you'd come over here and do this section next do the whole thing maybe you um, if you look right here there is a dark dot okay and then I come in here and it looks like a little miniature triangle always be using your artist eye seeing what things look like to you and comparing it uh, you're going to practice this today and I will show another video of how we're going to actually do the symmetry drawing of the animals and this is darker so I'm gonna keep adding some lines and this does take some time this is a very difficult project but like I said as a student you need to be challenged and this line here see I'm taking my finger here and I know this is a curved line down you can add this in now if it helps you to add those lines in goes off the page or you could add the whiskers in these whiskers if you look are actually white and they're going different directions they're coming off the edge and then this pattern see where it's darker here I probably should stop well I'm just moving along here I like doing this very relaxing and then this shape kind of comes out and then it goes up and then you want to like pause and look at your drawing so you know is this too dark that's not dark enough so I'm gonna come in and add some more it's usually easier to add okay just like painting you know you do less and then you add more and this pattern should come up and be the same way and you're gonna add some more lines in hopefully it will start to resemble a cat um, like I said you can use your fingers uh, compare just do this section at a time see the contrast here or well, I'm not gonna put as much in here but when I come into this eye and I started it on this other one it took me a while to get this where I, and there's that reflection so you're always gonna have a reflection where the light enters and maybe you would go around it leave that blank we've already drawn spheres come in and erase it okay ooh there I like that you also on an eye it is in the shape of a sphere okay so when you do your cross hatching which we've talked about you know bringing these lines that we talked about cross hatching is where lines uh, cross each other this part of the eye is really dark also look and see you know where is it also dark right here right in here so I could come back in and add more fill that in follow that line with your eye where is it going then you will create the contrast and really come in and make it look more like an eye see how thick I need to make this thicker coming into this side thicker okay and up here up above this here it is really dark towards the outside it's the same thing and then it gets gradually lighter so today you're going to be practicing this then we'll move on to the real project and I'll have another video for that good luck